good evening, planet Earth. If you've ever wondered why every time I say good and then I look to the right before I complete my greeting, it's because I have my clock to the right. So it's always good to check what time of day I'm supposed to say when I say that. And that's why I say that. I mean, why I look in that direction. Yes. Anyways. <clears throat> so, uh, this is a big announcement. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, uh, I've been waiting until I uh, ascertained that this was the path I was going to take. I've got the form and everything. Um, let me take you to a uh, special place called my bag. You can see it there, lying on my bed in all of its baggish glory. Uh, we're going to open this and we're going to take a look inside. Ah, well, we have a notebook, as expected, and ah, uh, what is this? Let's let's take a closer look here. Change, what does it say? Undergraduate change of major form. Interesting. And who, oh, that's Ryan Normandin's name. Okay. And, oh, oh, what is it? Oh, 17 to 8. Could this, could this be true? Could this be accurate? Yes. Uh, I am changing majors for the second time. Uh, I am switching from political science to physics. Uh, this will amuse many of you because I have expressed on multiple occasions uh, when I was taking 803 last semester, waves and vibrations, the difficulty that I was having with it and the frustration I experienced. Um, so let me outline my thought process. Okay, so obviously, right? So I'm a junior. It's not common for juniors to change their majors. Um, so obviously this is something you have to think carefully about. Uh, I was minoring in physics already. I mean, I hadn't turned the form, but I was taking classes to minor in physics. Uh, while doing so, I had completed 1803, 803, um, 8, So I'll say the names too. Uh, 1803 is differential equations, 803 is waves and vibrations, 8225 is physics in the 20th century, and I'm taking now 821, uh, which is physics of energy. All of which go towards my physics, we would go towards a hypothetical physics major. So it is certainly feasible for me to change majors to physics at this late point in my MIT career. Um, but you know, doing so is, is it smart? Is my, my thought process. So, uh, I was never going to actually use my political science degree. I wanted to teach high school math and physics, and then I wanted to go into politics. Uh, and, and, you know, that, that may or may not happen, depending on how different things go. But it, it's certainly an option for me to go into politics. Um, but primarily, first, I want to teach high school math and science. Uh, math and physics, specifically. So, I would never use a political science degree. Um, I, I was, guess I was caught by surprise also. I had, I've completed basically all of the policy-ish classes, um, public policy, American politics, globalization, foreign policy in the, uh, in the Middle East, a wide variety of classes like that. And now I'm moving on to the point where it is mostly data analysis, uh, regressions, um, conducting studies, interpreting studies, uh, you know, things like that. And I am not interested in that. Not in the slightest am I interested in studies and conducting studies and polls and surveys. Uh, it does not interest me. What did interest me was the, cl were the class that I was taking, which I had completed. Um, physics does interest me quite a bit. It's also quite a bit more difficult. Um, so, eggnog. Eggnog is great. I wish they sold it year-round. Anyways, um, so uh, business is also a lot more difficult. Uh, and I would be using the physics degree because obviously we have two candidates for a teaching position in physics and one of them has a physics degree and one has a political science degree. You'd probably pick the one with the physics degree. So there's also that benefit. So essentially it came down to 
everything being stacked in favor of physics, with the exception that it is much more difficult. So I decided that if the only thing keeping you from deciding a certain, making a certain decision, is the fear of failure, then it is not a legitimate reason to not select that decision. So I will be uh, switching majors to physics. I'll be turning in this form soon. I just need to get it signed. Um, and that is that. Uh, so the new classes I would need, I have dropped 17869, which was uh, political science, scope, and methods. So I'm down to just linear algebra, uh, physics of energy, and uh, education. Um, so that leaves me to do, I'm doing the physics flexible degree. Uh, so I need to take quantum one next semester along with stat stat statistical mechanics, which is 804 and 8044 respectively. Uh, the semester after that, I'll be doing a lab, uh, which just needs to be any technical lab. So I'm going to be doing 5310, which is a chemistry lab. I'm also going to be doing 512, which is organic chemistry. It's a uh, co-rec for that lab. Uh, and I'll be doing next semester 8226, which is for the orders of magnitudes, and is still along the lines of my policy interests. Uh, it talks about a lot of the societal and political implications of different aspects of physics, uh, climate change, nuclear non-proliferation, things along those lines. Um, and if all goes as planned, um, and my concentration of physics will be in teaching physics, I believe. It'll either be in physics, teaching physics, uh, or um, possibly science, technology, and society, but I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be teaching physics. Uh, and that if all goes as planned, um, I will actually complete my requirements uh, by the fall of my senior year. Um, of course, I am prepared. Uh, you know, I, I, because I'm taking 804 and 804 next semester, it means that if I should un unfortunately fail either of those classes, I do have time still in my senior year uh, to take them again and hopefully pass them. Uh, so... Wish me luck. I'm doing something that I will hopefully I, I do take more of an interest in, and uh, hopefully in the long run, I will have more of a payoff for me. Uh, so that is about it. So now I'm going to take one more sip of eggnog. Yeah. Enjoy it. I'll say, travels down my throat. Great, great stuff. Well, that's all. As my announcement. Um, thanks, so, uh, you know, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to me, uh, follow me on Twitter, I'm on Twitter, uh, Ryan Normandon, and you should like my Facebook page, which is Ryan Normandon. Uh, so that's all for now, and, uh, I look forward to seeing what twist and turn will come next in my, uh, MIT journey, that it was completely unanticipated, uh, since I've now changed majors twice and made a lot of changes and continue to make a lot of changes so uh, it's a very evolving process but we'll see what happens thanks for watching peace